Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. So do you avoid going to the gym just because you feel intimidated or self-conscious? Or do you get anxious about working out because you aren't good at it and you're afraid you might get injured? Or do you find yourself just having no fun exercising and afraid that you won't stick with it? So why even bother trying? Well, in today's episode, I'm going to give you some tips to help you overcome your workout fears. Stay tuned. Hey there, my friend, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, the power of possibility, passion, and purpose. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. In this episode, you're going to learn ways to overcome your workout fears, especially if they've been holding you back from getting healthy and getting in shape. And a lot of times we have fears that we really don't even realize are fears, but something's holding us back. Uh, Before I dig in, I just want to thank you for tuning in, whether this is your first time coming on the Power Blast podcast or you're a regular listener, thank you for being here. And if you are a listener and you're in your podcast app, please drop in and leave an honest rating and review. That will help others discover this show. And if you're over on YouTube catching the video version of this show, please be an awesome friend. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way it will help others discover this show because that triggers and helps the YouTube algorithm. And it would be really crazy awesome if you hit the like button and dropped in a comment because I do respond to those. So, um, I just love to hear from you. You absolutely rock, my friend. As I reflect back on the many years I had access to a gym or I even had a gym membership, I can remember that sinking feeling of going there and allowing the comparison game to overwhelm me. And I, I would tell myself not to do it because everybody's, everybody's there to get in shape, right? We should all root each other on, yet there it was. Um, and... Of course, not wanting to look stupid doing an exercise and and thinking that I had it all together, you know, I kind of just meander around the gym. Um, but to be to be honest, I, I would go there and I'd, I'd put in some effort, but really not enough to see any dramatic results. And so it, I was letting that intimidation get to me, and I you know I, I wasn't wanting to push too hard because I was th- there was a fear of tweaking something or injuring myself, or getting so sore that I couldn't function the next day. I don't know if you've ever been that, been there before, but my gosh, you know, it's like, wow. Um, and, and, and for me, it was safer to just convince myself that I just, I'll just do my own thing at home. So I'd buy some equipment, you know, uh, I had some gym circuit stuff, you know, kind of, kind of like a little Bowflex gym, but not as extravagant. As a matter of fact, it was kind of clunky and didn't really work properly, but that was the best I could do. Or I get a, an elliptical and to, to be honest, I, I, I would get these things thinking that that would be the magic thing that would motivate me, that would help me stick with it, that would get me in shape and no, nothing stuck. So was it motivation? Was it fear? Now, I do know I was afraid of failing. And I avoided failure by just not trying in the first place. And boom, you know, problem solved, right? But once I found exercises that I could enjoy, workouts that I could stay consistent with, I started to see results. And my confidence built. And it built my abilities, it built my mindset, and I, I felt like I could easily and more confidently go to a gym um, as if I belonged there. You know, is, isn't that silly? I mean, we all belong there, right? Isn't that what a gym's for? But we certainly have ways of creating stories of low self-worth in our heads, can't we? Um, so let's overcome your workout fears. Here are some common ones. One one common one is the fear of injury. I, I, t- I talk to a lot of people about this one. And, and the solution with that, you know, a lot of times we have this old mindset of the good old days, you know, uh, back in the day when I was in shape and I was in college and I was doing all these sports, whatever. But literally, if fear of injury is a thing, you know, maybe you're injured in the past and you just don't want to risk re-injury. Start with less intense workouts. And I know sometimes 
you need to be humbled with that. You need to humble yourself. And it's easy to think, you know, back in those good old days, you know, and I should be up to that point and be up to doing it. But if, if it's the fear of hurting yourself or injuring yourself that's holding you back, look for something that's beginner level. And no shame in, any, in starting anything at beginner level. It helps you get consistent. It helps you build confidence. Uh, avoiding workouts or classes that, that um, maybe are labeled intermediate or advanced or, or something that has high intensity or boot camp or extreme on, on the title, that, that will help you out. Okay, um, And be sure that, you know, another thing with, with your equipment stuff, you make sure you're using good form. Make sure that your equipment is safe. Make sure that you're using the right fitness shoes to support your joints. And also, and this, this is something I used to cut corners on and skip, but properly warm up and cool, uh, do, do the cool down after each workout. So a great starting point you know, for some people is, is, is just to get a great walking program or beginner yoga program, something that can get you going, get you consistent, get you moving, and get you some small wins. Another fear, um, the fear of looking bad in public. Now, that's that's where I was. When, oh, there I was, ready to go to the gym. But but the solution I used was to work out from home. Now, I already told you, I, I, I decided to work out from home, but that still didn't stick. Um, there, there was a few things that I was missing there. When you work out from home, make sure that you have a routine. Follow a trainer using streaming workouts. You know, we've got YouTube, we've got uh, Beachbody On Demand. There's uh, Les Mills uh, Peloton stuff, Open Fit, uh, lots of different options, right? Um, but the trainer there will guide you to use proper form, keep you on track with various moves. And that way you can get the most of your workout and actually feel like you're walking away with results as opposed to just meandering your way around and trying to do, just kind of wing it and, and, and guess your way around. So it's, you know, when, you're, when you're working out from home, not, now for me, it was just me. This may be just you. you know, I would often go and go behind closed doors. I would go back to my bedroom. That way I didn't feel... You know, it was only my wife that was in the other room, but somehow there was still that little fear of being judged or, you know, by others in the house. Um, so when it was just me and the trainer on the TV, I, I could figure things out on my own. Eventually my confidence grew, but th those fears were holding me back. And I, and I love when you work out from home. You get to choose the trainer you like. You get to choose what intensity that you're up for. You get to choose how long your workouts are. Um, and you can even choose live classes to stream right into your house um, so you won't feel like you're, you know, you're, you're feeling awkward if you go to the gym and you start to walk into a class uh, a little bit late. Nobody's going to notice when, when you're doing that from home. So I, I, I also think that you get your workouts done a lot faster when you work out from home as opposed to adding up all the time it is to get to the gym, to park, to get dressed, to get to the equipment, wait for equipment if other people are using it, et cetera. You can, you can pretty much breeze through it and be over and done with it, and that adds up into your consistency and your confidence. Another problem are, uh, you know, especially when going to the gym is being overwhelmed by others. Um, and, and that little comparison game sometimes creeps in. The idea here is to tune it out. And, you know, I, I do notice that, and this, this didn't hit me until, you know, as I was putting together this podcast, a lot of the gyms that I had gone to, there are a lot of people that just tune things out, you know, especially at peak times. You know, sometimes people are really excited to be there. Other times people are intimidated to be there. So it, it I would see a lot of people wearing these really great pair of noise canceling headphones and I encourage you to listen to you know, awesome tunes or a lot of times people will get on a treadmill or an elliptical and be able to have the fancy television that that's going on. Or what I love to do is listen to an audio book or a podcast, Ooh, a podcast. I wonder what good podcast you could listen to. <laughs> Shameless plug right there. Um, just focus on yourself when you go to the gym, not others. You go at your own speed. You avoid the comparison game. Eventually, you do build your confidence a lot more. Uh, if you see, see somebody else struggling, 
know, go over and help them, encourage them, root them on. We should all be there to root each other on because we're all wanting to be our, the best versions of ourselves to get in shape. It's not to outdo or outperform anybody. That is, there's not a, not a competition in the gym. Another problem, uh, another fear is working out it's not fun. It, it just isn't fun. It, it makes me feel uncomfortable, miserable. I, I feel like I'm being tortured. <laughs> yeah, that might be an extreme thing. But I agree that exercise takes effort and it takes work. And a lot of times it takes time to do that. But it becomes so much easier when you find something that you enjoy doing. Now, for me, I started with strengths and cardio, and there there were some workouts. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I got to do this again. I don't really want to do this," um, but it was what I had, and it was a, it was a solid plan. For other people, when I'm coaching them, I'm like, "Choose an exercise, or choose a, if you are avoiding exercise because it's not fun, or that you you just get bored easily." Find something, you know, flip the mindset and find exercise that you can shift your focus to see yourself doing. Um, way more than just burning calories, seeing it, it as an enjoyable way to spend your time. Um, for many people, that could be dancing, spinning classes, kickboxing, yoga, uh, those rhythm workouts where sometimes people are using um, uh, like drumsticks and stuff, hula hoop, you know, weighted hula hoop stuff. There's a lot of fun things out there. Actually getting out in nature can have huge benefits as well. Enjoying the sunshine, the breeze, listening to the birds. Anything that brings happiness into your workout can totally help, and it helps with the consistency, and it helps to be something that you really enjoy doing. Another fear that people have, and this is, this is a big one. This was where I was at too, the fear of failure. Now, this one, you got to dig a little bit deeper on this one and kind of put on the, the body armor to go at it and the, the combat gear. Um, it really revolves around the need for accountability and support. Um, people may be afraid of failure and not even realize it. And that's that's where I was for the longest time was I didn't realize I was afraid of failing. And it can be it can be frustrating, it can be paralyzing, and it can lead to procrastination, excuses and not even trying at all. So you want to face this one head on. That way it will give you total control. Writing out your fitness goals of what you want to accomplish, not just thinking them. You know, I'm, I'm going to share some things with you, and I don't know how many people I coach that they just let it spin in their brain and, and they don't actually get it down. Writing out your fitness goals, writing out a super strong why you want to achieve those fitness goals. And I'm going to challenge you. It's way more than, oh, I just want to lose some weight and get in shape. There's a deep, deep, deep reason why you want to get in shape and what it will do for your life. Then follow a plan. Don't don't just wing it. Like I said before, tell others about the plan so they can support you and hold you accountable and find supportive people. If, they, if you know it's going to be somebody that's not going to support you and belittle you and put you down, find a different person. Find a different group of people, right? Um, uh, so that will help build your, your confidence. Get a workout buddy to help you stay on track. And think of, you know, flip the mindset. Think of failing as a process of learning and growing. You're, you're always striving to have a growth mindset, not this fixed mindset, right? So choose to allow failing to be your gateway to getting better and learning and feeling better. And if things don't go as planned, which that happens, big deal. Surround yourself with supportive people who encourage you and will work with you in a positive way. Uh, last fear that, that I want to address here is it, it possible. It's, it's very possible that maybe it's just anxiety and, you know, anxiety or you're anxious about exercise in general. Um, then perhaps you want to choose a, a fitness routine that's more my, uh, like a mind body routine. Uh, think like, uh, Tai Chi. Uh, yoga, Pilates, something like that. Something that helps the mind and the body relax and connect. Deep breathing exercises and de-stressing activities. Um, those can really work wonders to to um, calm your mind. Uh, I really, really like that. Um, just know 
you know, through all of this, you know, all, all the different fears. Maybe you have some, maybe it's just uh, one or maybe it's all of them. But just know that you've got this. You've got choices. It's it's not an all or nothing game. It's a failing forward game. And you can take total control of that. You can take total charge of any fear that's standing in your way. Just set small, smart goals to help you build your confidence and build the consistency. It's more important to build the habit first than it is to see the results. And I know we always want the results fast, you know, like yesterday, right? But consistency is going to be your friend. It's challenging yourself. It's continuing to move forward because those small wins begin to add up more and more. So I'd love to hear your top takeaway from today. Uh, drop me a line on social or head over to your email. Drop me a line at Perry at put yourself I, I reach out with any questions that you might have about food, fitness, even more ideas to achieve your health goals. I love helping people remove the obstacles that get in the way so we can become people who exercise and reach our health and fitness goals. And if you'd like more motivation, more support, tips, strategies, then I encourage you to join my Upside Down Fitness community. We're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. And we, we, flip, the fitness, we flip the fitness industry upside down because we really focus on the inner, the mindset stuff that often gets in the way of us continuing on with uh, getting the results from the workouts that we're wanting to do. I do 52 weeks of free coaching in that group. I promise you'll absolutely love it. You can get all the details by heading over to UpsideDownFit.com. That's all I have for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you so much. Please, as I said before, share this with somebody that you know could benefit. Subscribe in your podcast app and leave an honest rating and review. That will help others discover this show. And if you're over on YouTube, I'm always waving when I do the video version of that. Please be sure to subscribe. Hit that notifications bell so you get notified each time a new show drops. You absolutely rock, my friend. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.